Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I like saying the full name. Just, you know, emphasize all those colons. Okay, so here we are in the temple on whatever the fuck this planet is. I believe this is Zepho. Um, I really thought we'd just be able to go here, but that's apparently not it. We drop. Okay, we're supposed to drop. Okay. Anything over here? Surprisingly, no. If I was a developer, I would totally put a little chest over here or something. There's not one over here. This is probably just Doom, right? That's just Doom. Okay. Nothing here, huh? That's surprising. Okay. Well, I guess we just drop here. It's fine. No little gifts or anything like that. No little boxes to be here. That seems very dangerous. You probably don't want to do that in a cave. That seems exceedingly dangerous. Oh, hey, look. Meditation spot. Great. Probably should have ended the last episode here, but I didn't know it was here. Okay, I would definitely like to rest, please, so we get our skill and life force and stim kind of shit back. Yes, please. We don't have any skill points yet, so we're good. We really need to be able to extend our force more. Um, I really wish we could just keep on dumping points into that, but that is not the way that works. Ah, that seems dangerous as hell. I mean, if these are doors and they suddenly slam on you, like, what's your recourse? Do you have a recourse? I don't think you have a recourse there, Kyle. You don't know how to... I mean, I guess you know how to force push. It. it feels different than the other tomb. I don't know. I don't like it. Well, I mean, they could have fallen to the dark side. It is a risk, no matter what force tradition you you go to. Every force tradition has their own term for what the light side and dark side is, but it's effectively all the same thing. Just different ways of studying the same phenomenon. All right, this is simple jump. Boing. Easy, right? Then we drop. I found it, but it's here. Why didn't you tell me? Because she's a liar. Yeah. How? I rerouted communication the moment you tried to contact her. Slicing encrypted transmissions was always a pastime of hers. She taught me once. There's no technique Sarah has that I haven't perfected. Huh. Well, that's definitely going to be a problem. So, we have no secure communications. Unless, of course, we just get into a room, seal ourselves into, like, a Faraday cage, and then talk, basically. Oh, I never make those jumps. It all, he always goes off to the side. He always goes off to the side. I don't know if I have, like, drift on my controllers or something. Maybe I do. Maybe that's what I have. Maybe that's what... It, yeah, I don't know. I could blame my equipment, but really... It's a poor craftsman that blames his tools, and a poor video gamer that blames his controller. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Let's not blame the controller. I doubt I have any drift. The, it, we're not playing on the freaking Switch here. And we're not playing on the Joy-Cons either. It's the source of the drift. Yep, you definitely shouldn't have touched it. Remember, we can only do this when you... It actually reveals his core. Nope, not there. Not there. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, I can do that. That's not helpful. Need assist. That didn't work. What the hell? I don't have any force now. I don't. I'm trapped in the corner. Don't do that. Okay, we'll just have to wait. We can maybe parry these blasts, but maybe not. These guys are made of cortosis or something. Step away from that. Step away from that. Don't need any of that. I mean, he's down to half. We should be able to just. Nope, I need to wait until he's, like, pointed at me or something. We never had to wait before. Nope, get away from that. Oh, I thought I could force push it there. I don't have any force now. Get away. Okay. I mean, if I take this guy out the hard way, I guess we can do that, too. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Now, Now, BD. Okay. Nap didn't work. Yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't seem like we can push out his force. Oh, nope, that didn't work. I don't have any force powers. Okay. He's almost out. It's just gonna take time. And that's it. Jiminy Cricket. There was just no way to do that. Most likely, push isn't gonna work. We probably learn how to pull here. And that's probably how we're supposed to do it. But that, that sucked. Okay. It is... I mean, it's effectively raining. Hopefully there's not another one of those guys in here. Okay, looks like we're playing with balls again. These guys do love their spheres. So this one's cracked open. This does not look like a functional ball. We're going to need to find a replacement. Most likely upstairs. And we could try to push this one out and see what happens. Yeah, no. Okay. Let's suppose the writings here tell us what to do. So we have a bunch of alien guys all using the force to lift the ball in place, it was looked like. There's a smaller ball underneath it. I don't know if that matters. Looks like a larger ball above it. And looks like kind of like they're tied together, but that could just be lines of influence, not necessarily like actual physical lines. I'm not sure that actually tells us what to do here, though. I don't see a way up. Unless we're supposed to climb this somehow. And then, like, jump off. But we don't have a force jump either. No, we clipped through that, so that's probably not right. What about over here? Can I do anything with this? Well, I definitely want to touch that eventually, but can I just... Nope, can't get that down. Alright. Do this, though. Alright. Um, sure. What do you got, PD? My friend. These devices appear to simulate this planet's gravitational pull. I can't help but see it as a motif. Weird, but alright. Huh. Weird. Huh. Alright. So that was just a bunch of lanterns that basically burned the thorns away. Alright. Good. Meditation spot. Thank goodness. We can definitely use that. We're going to have to fight the guardian again, but maybe we'll do better next time. Definitely rest up. We're going to need that. We're going to need those stims. Thank you very much. Alright, here we go. So the point is this way. There's stormtroopers up there? Yeah. Let's see. There's no other way to go, right? Yeah, that's just fall into your doom. Atmospheric, but pointless. You're running out of time. For what? My scouts located an artifact of interest at the rear of this tomb. Even now, I'm studying it. Learning his secrets. It seems Cordova was rather taken with these Zephyr. Perhaps enough to hide the holocron amongst their bones. Yeah, we'll see how much you learn. Doesn't look like there's a way up from here, so I'm gonna do this first. Oh, hello, guys. He can't beat all of us. I'm after the enemy. Wait for it. There we go. Stay back. Just stay back. Okay, now it's just you. He escaped somehow. <laughs> Someone else got up here. Watch out. I pushed, but that didn't actually help much. Damn it. Am I even close Focus on the wrong guy. <laughs> there we go. Come on. That didn't work. There we go. Both of them down. That helps. Okay, He's out. You don't got this. Alright. Big old ball. Okay. Well, on the upside, if these are the scouts she was talking about, um, I don't think they're on to anything anymore. So that's where we were down there. Obviously, we're supposed to climb this way. Easy enough to do. The question is why. I mean, obviously, we can go through this, but I'm just wondering if just do anything with this ball. Ah, BD found something. What do you got, BD? Ah, okay. We can move these things. Yes, we can mimic the. Very nice. 
Maybe with the gravitational pull the same way, we could melt the ice and free the ball. I don't know what that would do for us necessarily, but that's probably what we're supposed to do. Okay. Another thing over here. Oh, hey. Items. We like items. What do we got? Hey, BD, let's go. Also, more frescoes we can look at. That's different. What is it, BD? Let's hear material. Hyacin smelt. All right. All right, can you translate these for me, BD? My friend, what I found here is disconcerting. Um, all right, what'd you find? It seems these candles were offerings brought to this tomb in exaltation of the sage Mictral. At first, I believed them votives to life wind, but the further I delve into this tomb, the less the evidence supports this. And yet there is one gift that intrigues me. Statuary of Zepho, holding circular objects much like spheres. The much of this tomb is well preserved, these are uniformly destroyed. An interesting puzzle. Um, they did the same thing in, um, I think it was Thailand. Yeah, we need to be able to pull this, and we can't do that yet. Um, in Thailand, there's a bunch of statues of, um, Buddha. But all the statues are beheaded because they went through and basically purged the, uh, uh, we need to be able to do this too. Uh, they basically went through and didn't like the Buddhist religion anymore, so they basically just cut down all the heads. Yeah, so there's a bunch of force cards we can't do this here. Come on, guys. Focus on this guy. Oh, I thought I dodged him, but I did not. Missed somehow? Go away. Go. Oh my god, this guy. Thank you. All right. The gold guy here. If we can get this guy to... Oh, damn it. Frickin', frickin' rats. There. Now, what about you, buddy? Can I free you? No. I taunt you into... He probably doesn't care about me right now, because... I'm not really that important to him. I can go up this way, maybe? No, it's not actually a platform. All right. It seems like the lightsaber should burn his thorns down. That's not a thing either. All right. No, we need to move the candle, but we can only do that probably by pulling that. We can't do that right now. Um, hmm. Am I just stuck? No, I probably just need to learn the ways of the forest here. I just don't know how to do that. Well. Okay, so we already went through that box. We can't do anything with this thing particularly. See if there's anything on this side I can do. If there's this thing, which is interesting, but doesn't actually do anything for me. Oh. Alright, did I not do this before? I was probably busy, you know, fighting off stormtroopers. That's my excuse. Okay, we can push this. I like that. Where do we push it? Well, that's gravity now working here. Push it this way. Now, if we can climb it. Ah, can I walk along the... No. Then maybe I can be pulled along? Ah, okay, I see it. Okay, we push it this way. Ah, but there's gravity pulling the other way, so it's not going to work. Unless I shut it off now. The box did not disappear, which is good. There you go. I was worried the box would get pulled up to another location somewhere, like the gravity like got reversed or something. The scav moved from here to there. Oh, Tomb Guardian. Though he's not active. His little crystal is moving, but he's not active. Oh, hello, little scab. There you go. Get more of those plant things. We can just push those out of the way. We don't need to worry about them right now. Definitely pull this. Oh, yeah, definitely meshed here. Yeah. Though the scab will come back. But it will heal us, so still probably a good idea. 
Remember, we should do this every time, right? Just in case there's a boss here or something we need to worry about. So we rest up, that saves the game, and we're good to go. Okay, so the scav is all the way over there now. And we should probably trigger him. We could always use a little bit of the experience, you know? Hey, scav, over here. Come on, scag. Come on, scag. Come on, scag. Looks like he's waiting for something. I have no idea if he's waiting for like a trigger for me to approach from the other side or something. I have no idea. We're not going to attack the Guardian. That just seems like crazy talk. At least right now. Probably with Force Push, we'd be able to do it proper. Can't climb that yet, but that's totally something on our list. I mean, he was right. He actually fall to his death, or... Oh, he's totally dead. Alright. We did get the experience there. We can't go in there yet. We can go nice and quiet here. We might be able to push this guy off, too. We did get the experience for it, though. I saw the experience bar go up. I see you. He did see me. Briefly. Before he fell into the abyss. Okay, well, good. That answers that question about the other time we pushed those guys off. Well, this seems simple enough. Yep. Almost fell to my death there, but didn't. The important thing is didn't. And also the almost. Ah, the double vines again? Come on, game. I'm not good at the double vines. We're gonna have to do it anyway. Alright, alright. Here we go, double vines. Let's go. We have enough health. Theoretically, I mean, if there is some kind of drift... It kind of feels like there is. I was pushing straight up there. That should not be happening. Okay, I made it work. That's good. Gotta actually, you know, swing with it here. Going there is a mistake. Don't go there. We want to go for the, uh... want to go for this thing so we can climb on it. Yeah, there you go. Alright. So I'm pretty sure this is right. Can't go directly up. But we can climb down. Maybe jump over. No, we can't jump over. Oh, we can totally jump over. Yeah, right over here. There we go. Nice. One skag down. Another skag we need to worry about. There. More of my soldiers breach this tomb every minute. Stop bragging. Afraid to face me yourself? Had your droid not intervened, I would have killed you with ease. It's okay, buddy. Just ignore her. Also, I'm not sure that's true. I mean, I had one more. Stim, I'm pretty sure I could have taken her. Oh, they're attacking the Skags. Alright. Yeah, Skags are no match for Stormtroopers. I'm not surprised. The Spiders, though. Let's see what this does. Tuh, that looks dangerous as fuck. Also kind of awesome. Alright. Easy enough. We're probably supposed to keep these things in place, though. Okay. Not exactly sure what that does for us, but alright. So the Skag. Hello, Skag. Goodbye, Skag. I suppose we're supposed to climb on this. Alright. Fortunately, the vines did not get detached when it moved. Oh, hello, guys. Um, nobody ranged there, I guess. Oh, no, somebody ranged. All right. I think we're just supposed to jump over. Right, where are you? There you are. I mean, I've gotten you three out of three times, buddy. I'm sorry you didn't even lay a single blast on me. I do love the deflection. The deflection is pretty satisfying. It requires good timing, but once you have that down, it's fantastic. Okay, this seems simple enough. Nice easy bounces, right? You're not getting out of here alive. Um, I kinda hate purge troopers, but sure, where are you even coming from, buddy? I'm just a very cinematic place to fight. 
Okay, he's gonna be dropped off apparently. Yep, there he is. Don't suppose we could just push him over the edge. It seems unlikely he's gonna fall for that trick, but maybe we're luck out. I doubt we're gonna luck out that easily. We do have stims, we should be able to handle this. You snake! Stop lurking down there! I can't fail! Oh, okay. I will make you suffer. I'll watch you bleed. Oh, all right. He's gonna push him. Ow. You aren't so skilled. Probably should have parried those. I don't parry our physical post. Oh, damn it. I forgot about that one. Ow. BD, here. Yes, be afraid. No, gotta dodge that one. Oh, he just fell off the edge. He just fell to his doom. Okay, well, that was easy. Just had to look for the right moment and knock him over the edge. Nice. I would think it would be more satisfying. I remember in Jedi Academy and a bunch of the Dark Forces games, there was this satisfying scream when they fell over the edges, and sadly, that's missing in this game. Okay, why do we want to separate these again? I don't know. It seems like that would help, though. Maybe. Yeah, we do the same thing we did before, right? We go ahead and jump out this here. Oh, come on. I had that game. Just let me jump onto it. There. See? That was easy. You didn't have to kill me like that. I don't know why you do that to me, game. It's rude. Then we'll probably press another button and join them up again. You, you oh, hello. Here. How you doing? And his body goes off the edge, never to be seen again. Unfortunately, his family will never be able to bury him, but they'll be satisfied knowing that at least he served the Empire. Boop. Sure, if we need to boot, but I'm going to assume that it's here because we do. Yeah, okay, this lets us climb to the top, maybe. Nope, not to the top. Not to the top. To the bottom? Why would we want to climb down? That doesn't make any damn sense. We can't climb around. Um hold on, push off that side. Like, why does this exist, right? We just open the set. Nope. We definitely want that, though. I suppose we can approach it from another side. It does look kind of locked in. But it might have... Might be available to get on... From the top? Can we get to the top? Is a real question. Does not appear to be so. No. Alright. Well, I'm sure there's another way to get to it. Probably have to pull or something like that. We'll figure it out. That's probably the force. Probably gets this more uh, force power. Yeah, okay. Push doesn't work. It's worth a shot, though. Alright, so. My guess is the button push here is not what we want. That doesn't help us. Alright, let's, let's undo the button push and see what happens. Oh. Interesting. Are we supposed to stop that? Because it glowed blue there for a minute. This is obviously too far to jump. That guy has a blaster rifle, but it looks like an E-Web, so we don't want to attract his attention. Um, interesting. So we want to get over there. We want that halfway point again, don't we? They do love doing the halfway points, so we need to, like, freeze it in place somehow. I mean, that's like immediate, so that doesn't work. But if we release it, it's not immediate. Nope, I tried and it failed. Maybe we're supposed to push it? Okay, let's try that again. It's funny the stormtroopers just don't give a shit about this. Yeah, so that doesn't help. 
Am I supposed to be on it? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm supposed to stop time, jump on it, and it's supposed to transport me over there. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, so what we're supposed to do here is basically freeze it, interact, run over, and we're over here. That's it. That's all we're supposed to do. Okay. We get nice, easy jumps. Might as well take out the skag here. There you go. Nice easy jumps. Uh, that one's less easy. But if we can wall run on this, that might not be too bad. Make sure there's nothing else we're missing here. I don't see anything. Okay. Wall run's probably it. Um, no, it is not it. Can we just make that jump? Doesn't look makeable, but if we like, book it, maybe. No, too late, too early, too late, too early, too late. Don't we have to, like, wait for the slope? Yeah, wait for the slope. We got this. There you go. I tried to jump as soon as I saw the depression. That was not going to work. All right. Wall run is simple. Flamethrower guy. I hate that. Please tell me the Skaggs can just kill him. Probably not, right? Yeah, they just died. Yeah, goodbye, Skaggs. Okay, I should probably be able to just pounce on him, though, so this should just be it. Oh, damn freaking hell. Okay, there we go. It did take a little bit of my health, but I saw the square there, but just wasn't able to do it in time. So this is Wall Run 101. Maybe 201. It might be an advanced class. I'm, I'm willing to accept that. It's an advanced class. There you go. It's not that advanced, though. It might be 102. Let's go for that. It's probably 102. good here now all right surprisingly a dearth of loot around here okay one of the charging guys hello all right don't ever go behind him necessarily because he will kick us and he's out that wasn't so bad Okay, so definitely gonna teach us force push here. Imagine the artifacts the Empire would have missed if it weren't for your intervention on this backwater planet. You're welcome. Sure, it's worth the cost. I hear Project Augur came at a high price. Stormtroopers and workers, expendable resources. You're a monster. I am what Ser made me. No, you're what the Empire made you. Ser was a footnote in your history. Interesting. How does that help us? Ah, okay. No, no, no. We push these now? No, no. That isn't it. So those are going to be relit. We're supposed to push them from here? Yep. That was it. Don't really need any more of those, thanks. Yep, got a shortcut. No kidding. Nice, easy jump from here. That we can grab onto. Thank you very much. I mean, okay, Cal doesn't think it was nice and easy, but to us, totally is. Could probably use this stim. Shouldn't need it. I'm wondering if maybe there's a way to get back to a meditation spot, but I think we're okay. Alright. We're just going all over this temple. Eventually we'll find. Oh, hello. No, oh, damn it, go away. I was trying to get past him. Help BD! Damn skags, get away from me. Not helpful right now. Let the first trooper deal with it. Actually the skags are dealing with the first trooper. Okay, run away from these guys. Let the skags deal with these guys when possible. Damn it, go away. They always pounce me and I hate it. I'm taking you down. Okay, get the skags over towards the trooper. They might be able to deal with him a little better than I can right now. Yeah, there we go. This one's mine. And he just does not give a shit. Go away, skag. Hey, BD. It's my last stim. Now I can focus on this guy. Keep this up forever. That was a good hit. 
Freeze, don't move. It worked out pretty well. Damn, man. It's batons. Alright, just pounce it. Nope. Okay. We can pair her post with the best of them. There you go. That did it. I guess I could push him off the side, too. I didn't even think about that until just now. Ah, well. Beating him legitimately is probably better anyway. Oh, I hate this. No, okay, we're fine. He didn't drop. Okay, it's bad. I don't want to walk onto you right now. That's a grenade. That's a grenade. That's a wizard. Oh, friendly fire is on. That's good. I like friendly fire. Well, they won't, but I like it. No, there's one more guy over there. Don't worry about it. It's not just up to you anymore. You need to wait the last second there. There you go. Wow, those blasters hold a lot. All right, I am a little bit in a pickle. A little bit of a tiny little pickle. I would like to be able to use the stim, but we are out. That is the pickle that we are in right now. Those guys short me a little bit more than I'm willing to admit. I would love to meditate right now. That would be fan freaking fantastic. Even if I have to deal with these guys again. And that might very well be the case. Meditation would be great. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I've taken the artifact back to my ship for analysis. Pity you couldn't make it in time. It doesn't matter what you steal. You'll never understand it. Yet you do? You'll find out soon enough. I'll take those odds. Now, the real question is, did she actually find something? Because, you know, she is, after all, a Sith. They lie all the damn time. She could just be saying she found something. Alright, well, I guess we just climb these. That's, I'm expecting something a little bit more insidious than this, but... Um, pillars of doom that we can get up to. I would love, again, to meditate. Jumping here seems like a really bad idea. I don't have another one, though. Is there anything else we can do here? I don't see anything else. I think it's the jump. I think it's what we need to do. Uh, this doesn't work. We're going to have to do this all over again, but so it goes. Oh, yeah. It worked. Okay, good. I'm glad we don't have to do it all over again. So now we just rotate, and that's not close enough by far. Now we need to go up higher. Height is going to be our friend here. There we go. I wish they wouldn't adjust my camera like that automatically. I kind of hate it. Okay. And that takes us over this, which I think is fine. We just drop. All right. Nice, simple jump. Basics. Okay, we have gravity or some kind of force ability anyway. Probably just able to slow these down. Yeah, they're going blue. Fortunately, there seems to be plenty of room and plenty of room to maneuver. They do move pretty fast, though. Just go along the side. Okay, that worked. Probably did that a little bit too early there, honestly, but that's okay. Better too early than too late. So when they move away, you freeze them in place, I think. Yeah, like that. There you go. As long as we don't get got, we should be fine. Looks like we can shut it off on this side. There you go. Gives me plenty of time to do that, and so. And I'll just open now? Yeah, there you go. Okay, nice. Okay, I mean, hopefully that's not a priceless artifact I just destroyed. Sorry, sorry. I feel like Laura Croft here. This is very much in the same vein as like Uncharted or Laura Croft type of game. I mean, we're going through tombs. Getting stuff. Oh, thank God, meditation. Thank freaking. Okay, good, 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 good. Because now is definitely the time. This is just in time. 
I was a little worried there that we would have to fight something at our low, low level and probably have to reset. But we're good. Okay. We're probably supposed to fight those guys, but before we do that, is there anything else in this area? Like this way over here? Anything? Small drop. Totally do it. Might have been have to do it this way. Maybe jump that and then jump over there. Like, from there, we wouldn't be able to make it anyway, right? That's way too far. So, yeah, I'm supposed to go this way anyway. All right. Nope. Maybe not. Maybe not. That is just doom. And typically, we're against doom. Okay, so there's a way to climb. Let's just climb this up. Maybe we're not supposed to do that. And they should be able to see us. Haven't there's seen no us. way. Keep your guard up. Can we climb this? Uh, that's too bad. It seems like they're engraved. It seems like we should totally be able to climb the engravings, right? Okay. It actually doesn't look entirely stable, does it? Can I shove this? I mean, sure, it's big, but size matters not, right? Nope. Okay. That's too bad. I would think you'd totally be able to shove that because it looks like it's just on chains and it should be able to be moved. It looks kind of like a, uh, a siege weapon. All right, so that's not it. So maybe I just missed the jump because I'm bad at video games. It's possible, it's possible. Oh yeah, yep, I did because there's a freaking wall run spot right here. Yeah, okay, there you go. Hey guys. No, huh? All right, well. Um, there is some more frescoes there, but we already know we can't climb on those, so what's the secret here? I mean, are we just supposed to... Okay, we'll just jump on this, I suppose. Uh, there are spots we can climb on. I noticed something yep. while examining the sarcophagus. It's a very convenient location to dispose of nuisances. You lured me here. Was this your plan all along? You truly have the wits of a scrapper. What, she doesn't like any of the stormtroopers either? Because that would cure to them too, though she did say they were expendable, so. Jedi, near. Don't let them escape. Move up. So far, so good. Don't need help to kill you. I mean, are you sure about that? You oh, there's a perch trooper there. Okay, we might be able to shove them off. <laughs> Taking him down. Oh damn it! Stay on you. Oh damn, perch shipper. Okay, we're out of force power. That's not good. That's not good. Stim BD. The trouble is both these guys at once, really. Freeze? Nope, I can't. Nope. Back away. Back away. I almost had him there. Okay, we're good so far. Damn it! I hate that move. Yeah, someone else take a hit. He's got a stim. He's got to stand still. There, that took care of one of them. Just gotta take care of this here first trooper here. Try stopping me. I hate that move. That's basically invulnerable. Okay, don't get in the way of that. How many force powers right now? But as soon as I touch him again, yes, he's just invulnerable there. But oh, I wanted to dodge that though. I hit the dodge button. Game, come on. Come on, come on. Okay, we can get the good move here. That was pretty good. I wish I could push him off, but that we just don't have enough force power for that. Okay, it's fine. My guard is strong. The guard is pretty strong. I've got to admit, my guard is weak though. I gotta admit. Oh, damn it! Another stamp. Another stamp, please. Here we go. Okay, here we go. If I can push him off this, this would be great. If we can't. Let's deal with him the regular way. We're so close. I trade you 
There you go. Oh, okay. That's a triple laser. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, don't lose your lightsaber there. That's kind of important. I might need that. We need to force pull it towards you. We need force pull. Come on, Kyle. Remember your training. That was the perfect time for a cutscene. Yep, there we go. Flashback time. Force Battle pull. One. Where is the force? Everywhere. Everywhere. It is within me. It surrounds me. Just so. It connects you. There will be times when emotion, pain, or exhaustion trick you. You will feel cut off, isolated. This is an illusion. Your lightsaber lies there, out of reach, but you remain connected through the Force. Feel that energy around you, and summon your weapon. He even brought it closer to you just to make it easier. Nice guy. Okay, L2 is pull. Alright. Forces within you, around you, connecting you to your weapon. Come on, Kyle, you can do this. I mean, it took Luke a few tries to. Don't let yourself get discouraged. Yep, it's you fine. must ignore all distraction. Understood. There you go. L2, L2, hit L2. There you go. The force is with me. It connects us. All right, yeah, new power. So. Oh, that makes this so much easier. Please tell me we can do that to every vine everywhere, because now I'm a fan of the vines. Okay. It's funny, L2 is also the climbing button, because that kind of, like, ties into the whole... Like, he's climbing because he's pulling himself to the... I mean, if you look at it in a weird way, but it does kind of make sense. He's pulling himself to the wall or something like that. Uh, no, pulling there doesn't help me at all, but um, there should be something to burn with. Ah, these right here. We're supposed to pull them, then push them, probably. Yep. Nice. That's exactly it. You survived. Not part of your plan? Luckily, I always allow for contingencies. Thanks, I guess? Are we definitely going to save here? And new skills are available. Heal connection with the Force. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any skill points, but thanks for that. So this expands out a little bit more. All right, so now we have a lot more Force stuff. So save. Um, actually, hold on. So rest for sure. Let's look more at these skill tr trees. So skill tree. We can't afford anything right now, but in case we... Whenever, whenever we can. So there's that move, whatever. So ultimate Force attunements, Force increase. We probably want to do that for sure. Lightsaber throw. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. I guess you do need a force push and pull to be able to do that, so that does make sense. And it's a range of the throw. All right. What about over here? Stim canister suits completely refill your force meter. Interesting and weird, but okay. What about down? Holding pull allows Cal to pull and hold most enemies. Large enemies can be yanked towards Cal. Okay. Powerful push. Long Cal disintegrates knockback. Right, right. Okay, we're going to do that one. How about over here? Maximum life increase, not a bad idea. Additional life when using stim canisters, also not a bad idea. Special attack when switching lightsaber type, do not care. And yeah, don't care about the whirlwind throw either, because I'm not going to be using. I mean, I wish I could. Wish I could rescind this point here. I do not want this one at all. View ability. Yeah, that's not helpful. Alright, we well, you know what? This is probably a good place to stop. So thank you for watching. This has been Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I'm PC University or PC University 2, and I'll see you guys next time.